Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Sophia for those of you that are new here and I'm so happy to have you here and I'm so excited to share with you guys some of the DIYs I've been working on this past week. So let's get right into today's video. For our first dollar store DIY, I wanted to show you guys how I made this white stone tray. What's so nice about this DIY is you really only need a couple things to make it. You need one of those pizza pans you can find at the Dollar Tree as well as their bag of little white rocks and some spackle. Now Dollar Tree does sell spackle, but the spackle quality isn't the best and you also don't get the most for your money. So I'm gonna link the one that I use from Amazon below. But before I applied the spackle, I wanted to just paint the entire thing with some white matte paint. Um, this is something you can also find at the Dollar Tree, but again, you'll get a better bang for your buck if you buy a larger quantity off of Amazon. After I completely covered the pizza pan front and back, I just kind of wanted to give it this like sort of ribbing effect around the rim of the pizza pan just to make it not look so DIY. A really nice and inexpensive way to thicken your paint is just to add a little bit of baking soda to it just to give it a more um, almost like chalk-like consistency. So once all that paint had dried, it was just time now to add our spackle. I ended up probably, if you're gonna use the spackle from the Dollar Tree, I say I would probably get four of them to completely cover this pizza pan because you want when you press in the rocks to see a little bit of the spackle still. And I'm just spreading it around the pizza pan pretty evenly, but not exactly perfect because once you start really adding all of those little white rocks, it's gonna start occupying a lot of that space. And you wanna give yourself enough room in between each rock that you still see a little bit of that spackle coming through. I ended up only needing one bag. I bought two, but I only needed one to completely cover this tray. Some of the high-end stores are selling these really beautiful round marble trays and they're so expensive. So I, I tried to do a dupe for this. Obviously it's not exactly the same. We're not using marble here. We're using dollar store rocks, but I think it really does give a very similar effect and it looks so pretty in my bathroom. And the last and final step to seal everything down is I'm just using a very generous amount of Mod Podge. Mod Podge is great because it dries clear, but it holds real well. So um, I would say that this is a really great way to make sure that all of those rocks stay in place for sure. The spackle will help, but the Mod Podge keeps it together. I have a giant thing of Mod Podge, um, but again, you can also find this at the Dollar Tree for $1. You just might need to get a couple bottles. For our second dollar store DIY, I've been really into propagating. So I've done a little bit of research and I found that the best time to do it is actually now because before you start planting whatever you're gonna plant, you need a couple months. So I really wanted a beautiful kind of vessel to put it in. And I decided to use this foam ring from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just marking a little hole in the center of the top of the foam ring because I'm gonna be using a half inch drill bit to drill right through the top of this foam ring. After I was able to get that hole drilled into that foam, um, the reason we did that hole was because that's where we're going to be placing our little test tube to propagate our plant. Before we do anything else though, I wanted to make sure that I painted it in the color that I wanted it to be in. And I've been really inspired by seeing all of these like stone vessels for propagation. So that's why I am starting out by just doing a kind of tan mixture with again, a little bit of baking soda just to thicken it up a bit. And I'm just giving that one generous coat all over this little wreath form. The brown paint I ended up picking up at Michael's and the white paint is the same paint that you saw me use in that first DIY, which I'm just gonna advise you guys, if you're into DIYing like I am, just invest in a couple of your standard colors and get the big jugs of paint because it really does save you time and money in the long run. So now that I have a nice base, it's like almost like a light stone color, I wanted to use some stone spray paint. Now, stone spray paint can range anywhere from like seven all the way up to $14 so I understand if that's not something that you want to spend the money on it might not be worth it for you but I've already had mine so that's why I'm giving this that application if you don't have stone spray paint and you don't want to buy it I suggest maybe taking that brown paint and just kind of flicking that brown paint on your whatever you're painting because that sort of technique really does give the effect of stone without spending that much money 
And obviously our little propagation station needs a little stand so it can stand upright. So I'm just using some scrap wood and then spray painting that black. And now that we have our two pieces essentially built, it's just time to combine the two together. So I'm just doing so using my hot glue gun and some Gorilla Glue Sticks. I'll make sure I link the ones that I use in the description box below because the hold is honestly incredible. And I trust me, you do notice a difference. I just applied the hot glue directly in the middle and then I just held that foam ring there for about a minute before letting go just to make sure it was directly straight. And my husband said like that looked so cool as it was already. So you could just like put it on your shelf, leave it as like a sculptural element, maybe put some dried floral in there, but I really wanted to use it as a propagation station situation. Now the test tube that I had was just a little bit too wide. So I ended up just burning the top of it and just melting that plastic down to kind of like morph it to be able to fit in that hole that we created. And after that was in there, it was just time to add our greenery. And I am obsessed with how this turned out for such an affordable price. For the third and final DIY project in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how I made this gold pedestal plant stand. What you'll need from the dollar store is one of these plastic containers. I really liked the shape of this one specifically, but the first problem that I had was obviously the handles. I wanted it to sit flat. So I needed to get rid of those handles and I just did so using scissors. It's from Dollar Tree, it's not hard to cut off. And after I was able to remove all of those little handles, it was just time now to measure the bottom of the basket as well as the bottom of the pie pan because I'm going to attach the two, but I wanna make sure that it's centered. So in order to do that, you could eyeball this if you want to, but I'm a perfectionist, so that's why I did what I did. So you just measure one, measure the other, subtract the two, and then find the middle. So to guide myself with my glue, I'm just tracing around with a permanent marker so I can see where exactly I need to apply the glue. But before I do that, I really didn't like the bottom of that basket. I needed it to feel more finished. And you guys have seen me use this in another video. Um, I believe it was a kitchen thrift flip video. I'll make sure I link it in the cards here. And it's just like fishing tubing. I picked it up at the hardware store for a few dollars and I still have this little bit left over, which ended up being just enough for the base of this little basket. And I just cut a slit inside that tubing to make sure it almost kind of like contained the base of this basket. And then just to make sure it stayed put, I just added some hot glue. And I just gave it a pretty generous amount all the way around the bottom of the basket. Um, but honestly, because that tubing is pretty thick, I think it would have stayed regardless. And now that I was much happier with the basket situation, it was time to add the glue. Now I'm doing a combo of E6000 and hot glue. If you are ever in the situation where you have to do both like this one, you definitely want to do the E6000 first because that takes a lot longer to cure. So you have a lot more time to work with it. And then after you've spread your E6000 around, then add your hot glue because that is very fast acting. I'm using both because I want it to have a really like industrial hold, but I also don't wanna wait forever. In terms of the color that I chose, I found this inspo pick on Pinterest and it was like, it's actually a footstool, but this is where I got the inspiration from. So it's just like a metallic, like brassy gold, which is so trendy right now. So that's why I decided to also paint mine a metallic gold spray paint. I'll make sure I link the spray paint that I use. You guys always ask what kind it is. So I wanted to make sure that you guys know exactly which one it is. It's the one by Krylon in metallic gold. It has a nice like pink undertone, which I really love. And this is how it turned out. so much for watching if you liked today's video please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because i post home decor and diy content every single week and i will see you next sunday bye